Oh my. I'm tripping then. I'm I don't know how I missed yeah. that. We were commentating for three hours. Damn. Yeah, okay, I don't know. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna start it off real quick. And we're gonna have Wendy out there's some finesse here. And then, honestly, what do you think about this matchup? I don't really see too often here. No, no, go ahead, dude. We'll definitely get those yawns out. <laughs> no, I'm just like... Uh, excuse me. It is late. It's been a long day. Um, you asked about the match, right? Yeah, how do you, how do you feel about this matchup? Um, honestly, like... We have some really solid reps of this kid, but I don't see it too, too often. I would assume it's pretty even where both these kids can really both things at each other. It's actually difficult for the other one to do it. When he has some big hitboxes, and that's one of the things we are Ooh! With that wow, that was nice. The cannonball actually killing him around 80% there. Super early stock actually coming out for Caternator. Wow. Yeah, I don't think we were really expecting that to hit. It was like so slow, but he couldn't really react because he ended up jumping, and it was like kind of awkward on him. Oh, and oh my god, did that actually. Did that gimp him, actually, from his, yeah, out so of his up -beat? He started the up -beat, but he got hit with the tail, which isn't a very strong hit, and there's a certain, like, damage special that he for the two blinks to get the part man, after being hit. Uh, wow, okay. Okay, answering right back at that, and already 105% on the second stock, looking a lot better for Lubre with this uh, second stock here. Lubre is on fire right now with this stock number two, 117%. Aerials coming up from Moonway, Moonway, of course, there's super uh, big hitbox on that. It looks like, like, Ness's aerials are so good. Oh, oh my god, god. god. I'm close enough to get the shot. calls it out. The yo-yo. He just says, I know you're coming in. So when I call out from Moonway there. And uh, actually in a really good position again at the ledge. Really good opportunity for Taternator. Not going to get what he wants there. Going for the double F smash. Ooh, I like the use of the side B right there because it has that real back to start it. Uh -oh. Ooh, off stage. Oh my god. Down there really cheeky, actually. Who just killed himself? He jumped off into the explosion. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, I a bit of a shame right there for Loomberg, like he, he just kind of threw up the outside. Okay, I'm still in this one. Still have a pretty solid lead here. He actually had a, a massive lead, uh, but Tatonator almost slightly bringing it back here. But this off stage uh, game thing here is where it gets really scary between both of these players. It'll be a big opportunity. So you can see it going for a lot of these 2 Thunders. Random head smash that maybe was able to land on the platform in front of him there. Big nice spare. Oh, okay. And the up smash will do it. Alright, gonna close out that first game, Blue Ray. No, no, you're good. Sneezing, coughing. Oh, man, I, am, I am messed up tonight. But no, you're good. I had to go. sell a commentary. No, I'm just kidding. It's oh, dang. <laughs> it's not the, yeah, are you okay? You yeah, no, I'm good. I'm good. All right. Um, yeah, no, uh, that was definitely a really great start coming out from Blue Ray there. And a pick major kind of thinking about his options here. Counter stage pick. Let's see if we go somewhere else or if he's comfortable. Um, but yeah, definitely. I feel like I'd definitely like to see another stage just because Moonbray was making great use of what the stage has. You know, he was doing some very nice stuff with the platform, able to run away on the open parts of it. But Taternair doesn't really care. He's just going to run back. Alright, yeah, definitely feels comfortable on that stage. And you know, honestly, he didn't lose by a huge margin, so he definitely can just back and make it a game three. Go, Hero. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, you want to see, you saw a Sweet Tea Zero earlier, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, yeah, but I know Tudo has been playing with the character. Oh, okay, yeah, he has. Uh, so it was kind of something that I was thinking it may come out of the back pocket, but instead going for the muscle so pretty good with the wet. It's that down air into the grab, really nice, getting that up air into two up airs there, nice. Only getting 46% for all of that though, wow. I am trying to poke on his shield right now, but he's probably not going to find anything. Anything of the photo oh, oh my, oh my god, extending it with the back air there too. So nice. Oh, and the back air god. coming out from Taternator. Really clean stock. If we're going to clip anything tonight. That, that's that really was good definitely for him. something to do it. That was beautiful coming out from Taternator. Really nice setup there. Yeah, is showing his control of this character right now. No Halloween in the box of the full air. He's going to set up into the back of 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 the back 
character for so long, he has to be functional. At the same time, it's like, how do you call that stuff out? It's just like so much time and practice. It's crazy. It's so cool to see that connect, because I, I, don't, I don't know any other like Bowser Jr. other than like catch up and play you know? In the scene, so. Okay. Set backer, not gonna kill at the opposite end of the stage almost. Almost did though, <laughs> kind of scary. Yeah, I mean, Tater has to be very careful about holding shield here because of the threat of the back throw, but because he didn't hold shield, he keeps that strong spot of the back throw. And that boosts that first off. Get that down throw there. Ooh, nice parry in the air there. He tries for the PK fire, but too, no, too close to Tater near the hitbox of the side that he's going to be. Dead. Yeah, he's gone. That's actually really strong. It's, it's one of the best grabs in the game. Like, it just feels so early, it's so fast. Look at all that Look percentage! Look at the damage! Koopa, stop holding in! Wait, Koopa, yeah, stop why? holding in! Why is he holing in? That was 43 damage! That should have done 43! What are you doing? Why? <laughs> Oh my gosh, Kevin are actually going off. Still has the stock lead here up on Blue Ray. This is looking really scary here. Okay, gonna get that upbeat. Nice recovery from Taternator here. Has the stage. Oh, uh, was that the taunt? Yeah, he definitely taunted and said, you don't know about this. No! <laughs> I'm so sorry if, if, that, if that broke your guys' uh, the mic. is actually freaking out right yeah, now. Yeah, that definitely <laughs> just peaked it. But good lord, Taternator. Oh my god, he, the Jeez, taunt to I get see that bodied, clip. please clip that, somebody clip that. That was beautiful coming out from Taternator there, he's yeah, definitely feeling himself. That was nice. My goodness guys, that's what this is all about, coming out, and you know what, he didn't care that he lost the first game, he's like, you know what, I'm comfortable, let's run whole, it back, let's run Pokemon the whole Stadium. Set with, that, with those last two stops. Yeah, he actually... He's feeling himself for sure, but you know what? Game three, Blue Brave starting off pretty nice there. 23, kind of even percent right now, and uh, yeah, I'm excited to see uh, what happens. Putting on a show. Now, one thing I've noticed is Blue Brave isn't opting to use the Mecha Koopa against Taylor where they're off. He's just letting it die on his shield. Instead of trying to pick it up and throw it back at him. Yeah. I don't know whether it's a comfort thing or doesn't want to, you know, play catch with Taylor and maybe throw it back to his hand. Oh, oh out my. The God, these guys are calling each other out left and right. What is going on? And okay, going for it. Okay, he swung like three times, and the third time is the charm. It will connect, but it won't be enough to get the stock quite yet. Okay, like the F smash at the left, so applying a lot of shield pressure there. And oh, wait. Okay. Really, really nice. So nice. Closing out with the back air there. Uh, very actually, even. Like yeah, that. very even. And he calls out the landing with the forward smash. These guys are so in each other's heads, so confident with everything they're doing. Yeah, no, they're back and forth. This is a very explosive match. Definitely a really nice match to watch for sure. It's super exciting. Um, oh, no, that's a new dodge for Tyranio, but he kept his jump off stage very smart. Ooh, optics for that grab. Like, not going to get it there. Becky Koopa allowing Tyranator to get back on the stage. Pretty safely there and comfortably. Okay! Oh, my God, no! Really nice. You've got to be careful with what you're doing. Tanimator, you gotta be careful. That was really nice of me to bring a PK Thunder in the round. Oh my gosh. Oh, yes. What a big carry right there from Stressing. This set, this set's crazy right now. Ooh, going for the down air. They're a little cheeky. Like the attempt though. Okay. And we're all PK Thunder there. And oh the yo yo God, down smash so cool. the ledge. Super good option for Lesnar, very scary. Now, we're seeing a lot of aggressive recoveries with the side beyond stage from Tanner, and these PK Thunder that killed him off the top. Oh no. I couldn't even see it past the scoreboard. I couldn't even see it. It was like in the blast zone. He just followed that man to the end of the earth there. Yeah. Wow. It really felt like Tater was really starting to struggle on that game three, dealing with these uh, PK Thunders messing with his 